guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is erica if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i missed you today i'm going to be doing a q and a i know i have a lot of new viewers on this channel so you guys need to get to know me and then i have my ogs that have been with me since literally 1932 and you guys need an update i've honestly honestly been through so much with social media i do see a lot of questions about dealing with anxiety and mental health has definitely been a problem for me ever since i started social media y aparte de eso during that time my mom was depressed so i just had so much on my plate it just comes to show that mental health is so important something that has definitely helped me and my anxiety has been getting closer to god taking deep breaths taking breaks and writing things down dude i love writing things down even on your notes app dude like whatever makes you feel comfortable i also heard that sour candies help with anxiety y aparte de eso algo que ayudó muchísimo a mi familia specifically my mom has been therapy once my mom started going to therapy así cambió la cosa dude and that's something i'm always gonna live by i feel like with our culture as latinos therapy is so important no sé por qué muchas familias they avoid therapy por eso son bien tóxicos la neta en todo están menos en terapia and with that being said i want to give a huge thanks to better help for sponsoring today's video better help connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful advice you can start by going on their side and a few questions and better help will match you to a licensed therapist with years of experience in usually about 48 hours which is really fast and it's so comfortable because you can use better help in the comfort of your home with a phone or a computer you can use it by a phone call a video call or messaging so if you would like for better help to connect you to a therapist from the comfort of your home to be there for you use my link betterhelp.com slash erica angel the link is gonna be here down below and you can get a special discount on your first month use my link or choose erica angel while you sign up let's better our mental health dude i see so many good questions this one says what type of style do i like honestly I'm that girl that likes a bunch of styles. Y nunca me puedo decidir. And I've always been like that. Like, I just wear whatever the fuck I want. But I guess you can say, I have always been into the rockera style. No sé, a lo mejor es porque mis papás son de la Ciudad de México. So I did grow up listening to a lot of classic rock and rock in espanol but dude la neta i just wear lo que se me antoje like if i see an outfit that i like on pinterest or on instagram i'm the type to take what i like from that outfit and make it my own version algo que si sí, la neta me he dado cuenta throughout the years you know i've been getting to know myself throughout the years es que no me gusta copiar completamente a mi siempre me gusta tener mi propio estilo i do adapt to trends but i don't depend on them you know what i mean because low-key i feel like with trends it's kind of like si alguien va a comer mierda tú también vas a comer mierda like bruh favorite youtubers to watch right now i really like gabby gabby de martino i love her style she's always been coquette as fuck ¿Quién más me gusta ver? of course edith um I love Tara Yummy. Dude, I feel like me and Tara Yummy, we would be friends. Like, really good friends. I'm gonna check my subscriptions. Oh, obviously, Bailey Sarian, La Madrota. Oh, this message says, I literally need your makeup and advice and fashion advice too. Girl, just wear whatever you want. Like, seriously, like I said before, 
si algo te llama la atención, si te gusta mucho un estilo or any type of clothing or if you wear something and it makes you feel beautiful, stick to it. You don't have to follow the rules. Just do what makes you feel beautiful. And then for makeup advice, remember you do not have to break the bank. Hay un chingo de marcas de maquillaje bien barato. La neta, there's no excuses to be fodonga. Because you can buy makeup on Shein with She Glam. Dude, the, their concealer, I'm wearing it right now. It's so bomb. There's also Elf. It's super affordable and amazing quality. There's La Marca NYX, ColourPop. La neta, yo me pongo lo que sea. What is your favorite comfort food besides ramen? Love y'all. Oh, we love you too. Green spaghetti, of course, the one that my mom makes. And albondigas. Dude, I love albondigas. They're so bomb. Especially when they have cheese inside. Oh my god, fire. Or have you guys tried them with an egg inside? A boiled egg? Oh my god. Dude, I'm with it as fuck. I love eggs. It's kind of like ramen too if you really think about it. Like an egg in caldo with albondigas. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Pink and black to be honest. What was the scariest thing that has ever happened to you? Mm, do you mean real life scary or paranormal scary? Because I do have a story of something that was paranormal and weird that happened to me and my mom and my tia in Mexico City and dude, it was fucking scary, but real life scary, it was when I was in La Michoacana I was in La Michoacana de Southgate eating an ice cream bien a gusto with my parents and a guy walks in. I didn't even realize when he walked in and he went to the cashier and I just hear like a bunch of noise, like a bunch of things falling, dude. So I was like, what the fuck? Like did the señora fall? The one that was in the cashier and I look back and the guy has the cashier and everything's broken and he's running out and there's another guy at the door holding something it looked like a gun y después para acabarla another guy that was in line to get his ice cream he tried to fight the guy holding the cashier oh my god I was like, no mames, este güey nos va a venir matando. Like at that point, deja lo que se vaya, dude, with the cashier o con lo que sea. Material things do not matter in those moments. Y pues ya el güey se salió corriendo y yo de pendeja, I had my YSL bag. Que me partí la madre para comprar. Después de ahí dije, jamás saldré usando diseñador en Los Ángeles. Y ya por eso uso una bolsa más decentita. Bueno, pues además ya, ese era, ese era un lujito que me di porque no tengo pa' más. <risa> But like, for example, even my engagement ring, dude, I got a fake one. Because I was like, I'm not going to wear my real engagement ring here. You got me fucked up. There was like a little time donde estaban robando por todos lados. I actually saw a bunch of guys robbing at a Marshalls nearby. Y se llevaron harta ropa, dude. Creo que por una ley o algo, they get away with it. But dude, that was fucking scary. Who is an artist that you would like to bring back to life to have dinner with? Ariel Camacho. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Aw, dude. I can't believe he passed. I just said that to be a smart ass because I know people are always saying, oh my God, Erika and Ariel. I mean, obviously it would be a girl artist, but I'm trying to think who. Cool. I want to find someone that would match my energy. <gasps> oh my God, dude. Amy Winehouse or Janis Joplin. I feel like they were so free and talented and I love their vibe. Esta pregunta dice, what does Adan do as a job slash career? Oh my God, guys, I, I don't even know where to start. So my fiance, Adan, is actually a real estate agent. He's been having his license and he's been studying real estate for years, dude. Like... He wanted to perfect it so bad 
that I was like, dude, you're already so knowledgeable. Like, just do it. And he recently found an amazing team. So, hey, if you guys are trying to sell your home, buy a home, invest in a place, or have any questions regarding real estate, you can message Adan. I'm going to put his page here. And I've basically been his assistant lately. Yeah, dude. I'm in my Chris selling Sunset era. <laughs> I'm like, wow, check out this beautiful home with amazing views, walk-in closet, and a balcony. I have so much fun being an assistant, though, because I love looking at houses. It's just really exciting. Like, I get so excited for people. Like, oh my god, you're gonna live here. You're gonna make new memories here. Like, ugh, I just love that. Y aparte de eso, también es músico. He's actually gigging right now. He plays in a grupo. And he has his own group as well. It's called Los de Primera. Y aparte de eso... Dude, other than that, he also be streaming. So if you guys like gaming, go watch his streams on TikTok. And then on top of that, we have the store, Velvet Angel. He helps me pack, take the pictures... Do all those little things on the website. Yeah, that's all I done. I designed these though. The fuck? I deserve the credit. And if you haven't gotten your lashes, girl, what are you doing? Who is your favorite artist? Mine's is Billie Eilish. Oh my god, I've been obsessed with her new album. That's all I've been listening to lately. This is a hard question because I love music so much. I love... I think I have a favorite artist for each genre and not even just each genre, but también it depends on the time, you know? Like my favorite artist from 1932 and then from back then and then from now. Yeah, dude, I'm extra when it comes to music. I don't think you'll find nobody who has a better music taste than me. And I say that confidently because I know my shit. I really do, dude. I don't care if I sound mamona. <laughs> Like, my childhood friends, they know, they know that I know my shit, dude. I'm cultured as fuck. Like, I don't only listen to mainstream or trendy sounds, and there's nothing wrong with that. But, dude, I'm those people that are like, oh, I know another song from them, and another one, and another one. But, dude, lately I have been those people that a song goes viral, and I'm like, oh, I've been knowing that song. A new artist that I do love is olivia rodrigo i love sad girl music even if i'm in a happy ass relationship with a man who respects me i'm an emo ass bitch forever dude no dude because this question is so hard and recently a girl asked me this question when i was paying for something because i had a shirt on with hello kitty and kuromi and she was like, which one do you like more? And I was like, oh my god, that's a hard decision. As you can see, I'm a Hello Kitty girl. But I've been loving Kuromi lately. That Adan even bought me a buff Kuromi at the 626 Night Market. Oh my god, guys. Hay un puestito and they have Sanrio characters que están buff. Like, están mamados. Look, I'm going to show you. Look, guys, oh my god, above Kuromi, esta mamadita. This is how I feel after the gym. Me, when I get out of the gym. Oh, y sus colitas. Oh, que bonita. And when Goofy saw it, he thought it was for him. He swears everything is for him. I was like, no, es de mami. Es de mami. Las cosas de mamá se respetan. But yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can get notified for the next time I post. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!